Hey guys, what's up? It's me and welcome back to another video on my channel. In this video, it's going to be about my old Ford Fiesta. Now, as you know, I've already put a Hornet back box on it. But on eBay yesterday, well, no, it was this morning actually. I tell you, lie, it was this morning. I ordered a Hoffman exhaust pipe. Now, let me explain to you guys and show you what it actually is and what part of the exhaust it replaces. So, heading under the car. As you can see, the exhaust tube here that runs to that joint there. Now on that joint you had two bolts and this runs back to this and then from that it goes over the top of the rear axle and then you have your back box. The Hoffman is basically this pipe excluding this box, deletes this box. Um, so that's what it is. As you can see the car's up on ramps and I've got a few axle stands under there too just to be safe. So yeah, um, it should be arriving within two to three days. I'm hoping it arrives soon and then it says it does. It's come with Yodel so it should do. So yeah, this video is going to be all about installing the Hoffman exhaust on my Ford Fiesta. Before we get into this one, if you're new around here, just if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring that little notification as well, and most importantly, set your preferences to all, because that way you never miss out on a video or anything that I do on this channel. I'm going to start taking this exhaust off, but first I've got to do something, so I'm going to get that other something done and out of the way, and then we can maybe start tackling the exhaust and getting it off so then when the Hoffman one arrives we can simply just bolt it on and instead of taking one off and then putting one on on the same day if that makes sense but yeah I'll see you guys when we're ready to start taking the exhaust off a few moments later so we're under the car now gonna undo these bolts um, but to do undo this bolt may be a little bit difficult but we should be able to get it. Doesn't help that this car is so very light. Oh, oh. Get out! You put that on. Hard as rock. Get out! Double nutted. Obviously, double nutted for a reason. I don't know why. Could be that it was just double nutted because the bolts are so long. I don't think these are the original bolts to be honest. Yeah. Oh, that's tight. Like I said, it doesn't help that this car is so low because I can barely fit under it. trouble get that socket on there Whoa. Ow. why is it so tight oh bloody hell Jesus that's tight someone is impacted down on that day that's why we can't get it undone I think what I'm going to do guys is I'm just going to get back to you once I have the two bolts out otherwise this clip is going to be like five minutes long of me struggling and I'll probably start swearing at them in a minute because you know swearing and hammers solves 99% of all issues you have when you have doing jobs like this like I said it doesn't help because the car is so damn low well, I haven't lowered it, that's just how they are. But yeah, um, I'm going to get back with you guys in a bit. Guys, I managed to get one bolt out. But the bolt you can see in there now is, again, double nutted. And I think it's been impacted on. It's been a right pain in the arse to get out. Um, I just squirted loads of WD on it in hopes to try and um, unlock the nuts let's say they are on there proper um, hopefully you can get it out it's also a little bit awkward too because this 
I think it's for the gear shifter to the gearbox um, from the gear stick to the gearbox this little tube next to it there's barely any room to get a spun or a ratchet up in there so hopefully we can get that off otherwise we're gonna have to undo that little guy there which I'm really hoping we don't have to do that because that looks like it is well and truly rusted together and I don't have to replace that bit because if I did that would be a nightmare but when we get this exhaust off I will go over that rusty bit up there with some high temp paint just to protect it a bit but I'm really struggling on this bolt here the other one came out but this one no this one's taking the piss don't know how well you're going to be able to see this but I've got the first nut off and this is spinning freely now but let me tell you I've never known a nut on a car never known a nut on a car so tight away you go I can hear the kids walking past saying oh he's under the car, he's under the car time in it oh there we go thank the lord thank the lord it's the only trouble with old cars with old cars you know I can't get my old one under here so how are we going to do this second bolt was seriously fighting me like it put up a good fight but I won I've got them out so now all we need to do is go to the back box undo the two 30 mils on that little clamp and then come back along and undo all the hangers but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that today or if I'm going to continue that tomorrow I'll just see, but if there's a cut and then all of a sudden I say it's the next day, it's the next day, I'm not doing it tomorrow because I am freezing cold sat on lying down on this ground under this old fiesta. One of my, one of my mum's friends has like this big farm, like this big compound with lots of different barns and stuff. He actually has a two post lift. Would it be much easier doing it on that? Just you lift the car up in the air, but no, I choose to do it the hard way. I also choose to do it the hard way to show that you can do things and work on cars at home with basic tools. So that's why I'm doing it the hard way, you know, because I'm showing people that it can be done. It's amazing how much you can actually do to car on your own driveway. I put a turbo kit on this engine if you want to really build the engine strip the whole car put roll cage in it no you can do so much at home you know you just gotta have the patience and have the time i definitely have the time at the moment because you're not really doing much and patience mm, that's something i'm running out of especially now after fighting them two bolts but at least they're out day two it's currently friday ignore the bad hair day it's really horrible weather up here it's raining, it's pouring in the old man, it's not raining. We had the Hoffman tube on, sorry then for me putting it on, but I thought you've already seen you took the other one off, it's basically just the same thing but reversed. Um, but it's all on, all on there, as you can see, from the back. So, it's basically a straight pine, the only silence that we have is the haunted one. So, let's fly it up, see what she sounds like. Let's start up. Yes, 
exhaust mate your four fuels to the louder yeah it will not too much louder but it is noticeably louder with it being a slightly louder and that box being deleted you can hear more of the pop and the bubble which is what i like so would i recommend you get them off your car yeah i would actually yeah i would because at the end of the day it's just a bit fun isn't it you can always change it put the other one back on but be happy with it let's take it for Oh, this is fun. 